I just finished my freshman year, so I mean, this is an excellent resume booster, um, having this under my belt now, early on. It's been really interesting to get to know some of the people here at Iowa State that I can continue to connect with next semester and maybe even do research with. I've learned a lot in this project, um, a lot of different lab techniques. The RU this summer would help me with my future. I came in with very limited experience about the area and I learned so much over the summer not only about how to make an experiment go well, but also about what you do when the experiment isn't going as well. Hello, I'm David Grew of Iowa State University. I'm a professor in the Department of Agriculture and Biosystems Engineering. I'm also the director of CB Squared, a National Science Foundation center focused on sustainability. CB Squared, Center for Bioplastics and Biocomposites, is wrapping up its second year of the REU program, or Research Experience for Undergraduates. Approximately 10 weeks ago, 12 students showed up at Iowa State, and they went through an orientation program. And approximately half of those students land up going back to, to Washington State and Pullman, and the other half stayed here at Iowa State. Um, I chose Iowa State because it is such a large university and it gives the opportunities to meet a lot of different students, to work with a lot of different professors, and to overall get the experience of a big university within a small town. Um, Iowa State has uh, very nice facilities, especially for the agricultural and engineering research. I thought that I would gain a lot of great skills from it, learn a little more about research, and that it would prepare me better for grad school this fall. There's two primary reasons why I joined the Summer RU program. One is learning, and two is connections. I was always in the nanoscience with my research. Coming here in the bioscience and the bio research was outside of it. And I seem, I always feel like when you get, you get the biggest gains when you're outside your comfort zone. When I found the CB Squared program, it really interested me because we're studying plastics in a way that is sustainable and environmentally friendly, and that's very important for the future. During the last 10 weeks, they've been doing research on the projects affiliated with CV Squared. Anything from looking at biodegradable garments that have insect repellent properties, looking at novel paths to make biodegradable plastic. My name is Shan Jiang. I'm a professor at the Material Science Engineering Department. This summer, I worked with Anna and Riley. I've been working for CV Squared on a bio-based UV blocking coating this summer. The main hope of this project is to develop a product that's transparent but also UV blocking. So the main application for this would be for food packaging, for example. It would go on the outside of food packaging bags to prevent the food from UV degradation but also being transparent so you can see what you're buying. So the project I worked on this summer was lipid modification of gold particles for DNA delivery to plant cells as well. We've had a lot of challenges making sure that the particles are well dispersed and making sure that the samples that we're using are very clean and sterilized. We worked with three different bioplastics, uh, plastics that are derived from renewable resources such as like corn or starch. We extruded those materials to have a uniform blend. Uh, we then injection molded them into dog bone samples and also we film extruded them into film and from that film we welded them together on an ultrasonic welder and then we tested the tensile strength of that. My name is Mitchell Mickle. I'm a research associate here at Iowa State University. This summer I was uh, in charge of helping to mentor Lexington on consumer safe blister pack edges. Um, when she first came to Iowa State University, she really wasn't quite sure how to go about an experimental design, let alone what would it take to make um, the ending results from that. I think during this process she gained a lot of self-confidence on how to go about designing an experiment, making it actually happen, um, and then we're finally coming full route on the uh, results and she can kind of see how all of this pieces together from start all the way to finish. My project is on pen polymers, uh, next generation bottling and packaging materials. We are working to um, develop naphthalene diesters uh, to create polyethylene naphthalate. What we're working to do is develop new ways of getting naphthalene from bio-based sources. Specifically what we're working with is 
uh, sourced from malic acid, which is found in apples and grapes and other biomass. My name is Dr. George Krauss from the Department of Chemistry. This is my first summer RU uh, program with CB Squared. This year, the summer Roman plus my student uh, Joey Yu are working together on a project to make a variety of different uh, novel and, and, and useful plastics. There's a lot of opportunity here and we have some good connections with the companies, good collaboration with Dr. Cochran, and Roman and Joey have been doing a fantastic job. My name is Joey Yu and I'm the mentor for Roman and me and Roman were working on is making a monomer and I think he get pretty good understanding of the concept of why we're doing that and why this is important. My project this summer for my summer REU was towards bio-based ABS. The overall goal of the project was to replace the petroleum-based ABS plastic which is used in the piping and a bunch of other materials with a more bio-based plastic approach using uh, PLA plastic which is a bio-corn-based plastic. At the beginning I started off getting doing mixtures, hesitant, learning, not knowing like okay making sure everything's exact. Everything, and as I went, I got more and more comfortable with what the processes I've done. And my graduate student has gotten me worked on mostly almost every aspect of the project we've done. I've done synthesis, I've done testing, I've done mostly everything I could do with this project. So this summer we worked with Ford and Diageo on uh, making polypropylene and agave fiber composites and increasing the interfacial bond between those substituents to enhance the mechanical properties. Currently, we have tinsel tested the uh, three wash cycle material and so we have the results from that at different loading levels and the drying times. And then we repeated that experiment. Uh, the difference this time is that the fibers were only washed once so we wanted to see if that made a difference. I think that there's a lot of different directions that this project could go in the future. My project is on the functionality of bio-based plastics um, compounded with natural insecticides. Most of my project works with extrusion of the bio-based plastics, so we work with PLA, which is polylactic acid, um, naturally derived from cornstarch or sugarcane, but mostly from corn. So we extrude it with the PLA um, in order to get the fibers for weaving for the insecticide. Um, and then we weave those, uh, the fibers into mats and we test those mats um, with a CIA. My name is Sindhu and I'm a PhD student at Iowa State University in the Ag and Biosystems Engineering Department. So this summer I had a chance to work with two summer REUs one is uh, Shelby Bicknell and Hannah Guto. I believe uh, these REU experience have prepared them to be better at the work in future. Like Hannah is uh, taking up uh, an internship position while Shelby is going to a grad school. Now the benefits of the REU program or research experience for undergraduates, it allows us at Iowa State and Washington State to go out and see what other students are like and to see where we would like to recruit new future graduate students. It also gives the students a perfect opportunity to work with graduate students, get experience with what it would be like to be a graduate student, and allow them to determine if they want to land up going into becoming a graduate student and working on their master's or PhD. My name is Yi Jing Ding. I'm a CB Square's Center Program Coordinator. While we were planning for the RU summer activities, we wanted to make sure our students get the most out of their summer research experience. So we have weekly lunch and learns on topics of sustainability, and there are also campus-wide workshops on how to create research papers, how to apply for grad schools, and so on. We also have several company visits and social events like canoe trip, dance lesson, ice cream socials, and Dr. Joey Talbert, the RU student's faculty mentor, also meet with the students on a weekly basis so they can talk and share their successes and challenges.